All right, this is the installation of an oval electric box. You're going to have two 3 8 nuts. They're going to go underneath the spacers. There's two holes here. You take the front and back cover off. The grommet hole for the wiring goes in the back. It's going to go down here like this. It'll fit all stock 750s. You're going to use your two stock case bolts. These are holding your two lower halves together. Just slip these through here at an angle. And then you got to slip your 3 8 nuts on here. Let's see if we can do this with the air filter in place. Might make it kind of tight. And get get them finger tight to start with, and then there's just enough room to reach in there with a wrench. <coughs> a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten them down. And you don't want to completely wrench those, you just want to snug them with your hand because you're screwing into aluminum so you don't want to pull threads. You have two covers. There's a seam where the lip is welded. The seam is always the bottom. Right there's the seam, so that's the bottom. These have a, well, they only fit on one way. Each lid's made individually for each box. And then you get a couple wing nuts. You can put lock washers underneath those. Just don't have them in my hand at the time. These are built for the minimalist. This is, these are generally for kick only bikes. If you want to put a starter and a solenoid, you need to locate the starter solenoid and a button somewhere else on your bike hidden, like up underneath your seat pan. But down here, there's just enough room for a, a key switch and a light switch. You want to be careful when you drill those so that you have, when you, when you drill your hole with a shoulder bit, You'd start it with a regular bit, but then bring it up with a shoulder bit to get it to the correct size. But allow yourself width so that the ring, the screw ring on your key switch does not hit the wing nut as it turns. So you probably want to turn your key switch or your wing nut to the side. If you have a larger key switch in diameter, you may want to change the wing nuts to uh, just regular hex bolts. I like the wing nuts because you can get into them on the side of the road without getting any tools. I wire, and the, your wires come right through here, through the back. If you bring the camera around here, you can show. You would bring your wiring up through your, your stock piece here. Do a nice clean wiring harness with shrink wrap, and then shove one or two cables through there. Gives you plenty of room. But that is an oval key switch box. They come steel, bare steel, prepped. All you got to do is what? They're going to come with a coat of oil to keep them from rusting. You need to clean them and then prep them for paint, preferably uh, good automotive paint that's gas resistant in case your car bowls were to leak. I generally do mine with cheap ass spray paint just because it's easy. But <laughs> Alright, this is what I got going on inside the oval electric box. My main 30 amp fuse is right back here. That way it's accessible. Here's my cell phone charger. I get those at Walmart. They're made to go in the back of a, of a truck bed. You get one wire that goes down to the negative on the battery, one that goes to ignition. That comes in through the grommet in the back. It is connected to an inline fuse right here. I use bus fuses, the little uh, horseshoe ones. That way I can get them at any gas station if you ever need a fuse. I have a quick connector right here. That's the only quick connector on the whole bike. So if I ever have to take the electric box off, it's just covered in shrink wrap. I can disconnect that and take that off. The other fuse on the inside is this one. That goes from ignition to the power point on the three-way light switch. So if I have to, so when I unhook the light switch, I can take my electric box off. All the other wires will be smooth and they'll slide right out through the grommet. <coughs> I will tape this up 
see this is highs, off, and low. It has three three position switch. I will wrap electrical tape around these inside since they're shoved in a tight area to keep them from grounding out. These are the type of uh, key switches I use. This is MGO brand. I don't know if you can see that on the key. These are aftermarket Harley switches. They're a lot better than the cheap ones you get at uh, AutoZone or Napa. And they're a smaller diameter so they don't take up as much room. I will cover these connectors with a little elect electrical tape too and I put a big fat piece of shrink wrap on the housing. But this gives you enough wire that I can pull this all away from the bike to be able to have room to, to work on my wiring harness on the side of the road if I ever need to. Anyway, that's that's how I use my oval electric boxes. There's not a whole lot of extra room in there for extra stuff such as my solenoid. This is I keep these small for the minimalist. That's why I say if you want to run a starter, you would run the power lead in here to ignition then hide your starter or your starter solenoid or something up underneath your seat pan or somewhere else just out of the way. I usually put my my regulator rectifiers, mine is hidden down here by the battery or sometimes I mount them on the front uh, face of my fender down here or even underneath the seat. The regulator rectifier needs air to keep cool. That's A lot of guys used to put them inside the old Santee or uh, Finch boxes but they burn up because they get overheated. Same thing with your coils. Your coils go outside. I like to use the Dyna coils. You go from 10,000 volts on stock coils. These Dyna coils are 30,000 volts so you get a much better spark. Makes it easier to kick start. My bike starts on the first kick every time. I've been running these for five years. Love them. They're worth the extra money. Like I said, this, this little cell phone charger, which is a good thing to have on a bike nowadays, it's got a sprung lid and it's watertight. and I, It just zip ties to the frame wherever you want it. Or if you want to get fancy, you could, you could hide it somewhere, but that's a good thing. You can charge your GPS, charge your cell phone, whatever. Anyway, that's, that's all there is to it. And uh, like I said, this, this ring, this is this outside ring that holds the key switch on that's what when you drill your hole this hole here you want to make sure it's over far enough that the wing nut clears that housing if it's if there's not enough room for the key switch you're using put a couple of washers underneath the bolt for the wing nut to raise the wing nut out so that it clears that scussion anyway that should be all there is to it